points in the slam dunk competition. It's not enough styling, so it's a very difficult dunk to do, but he's not putting enough style. Charles Oakley, Danny Manning on the sideline, Patrick Ewing. The All-Stars in the background with Charles Barkley, Dominique Wilkins, David Robinson. They're all out here tonight. Behind the back jam! Definitely the two best for Robert Pack coming in a close third. Sean Kemp with power throwing it down. Here is Clarence Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon. What do you think of Jamie Watson? Well, he's got to get up. You know, he's a young guy. He's not, he doesn't look nervous. And I think the most important thing, that was nice. That was very nice. The problem is he makes it look so easy. That's why I say so much about you know, the energy level. You know, they talk about the Ooh. creativity and the power. You see that right there, QB. Dunk, a lob again. He grabbed the rim and followed through. And he can replace that even with the make. I think he's questioning right now, can I do it over even though I made it? The I'll tell you what, that's still a pretty creative dunk right there. Oh, Kenny Smith surprised us a couple of years ago, and he may be on that track again. And the beautiful 360 in the air. This is great body control. Well, you're going to see it. He does the 360, and it's beautiful catch, and he had power. With D. Brown, the defending champion, Magic Johnson, and Isaiah Thomas. The first dunk of the night. <laughs> he does it so quickly. He hits the backboard and takes it to the other side. 96 for Jordan. On the part of Jerome Kersey, who with late notice coming into the competition, replacing so Dominic ooh. Wilkins, has done a nice job. And they give him a 49 on that one. A dunk that doesn't count is one that the player never lets out of his hand. No matter what he does, if he holds onto it, it won't count. If, it, if he tries to dunk it and he misses, then it's just missed. That's, first one. That's a beauty. I tell you, Robert Pack is, unfortunately, I don't think he can win, but I think he might have been the best dunker here. But because the crowd is so excited by Sean Kemp and J.R. Ryder. You know, Ricky doesn't have quite as big a hands as Vince Carter, and it's a little bit tougher dunk. He can jump high enough, but he's got to grip it. Oh, Ricky Davis. Between the legs and able to go to the tomahawk. And wound up catching it and using two hands to finish on it. So you got to give a little credit there for coming back on that one and having one heck of a dunk.